All right, so the idea for this problem is you got a sphere this time rolling down a hill, so this is like a ball, and it says that the rotational inertia of this is two-fifths mr squared, and it starts at some height, and we want to know how fast it's going at the bottom. The idea is that it starts with gravitational potential energy, and it's going to end up with kinetic energy. It's going to be moving at the bottom, so it has kinetic energy. And it's going to be rolling, so it's going to have rotational kinetic energy. So we're going to do Me1 equals Me2. At the top, it has MgH. At the bottom, because it's moving, it has 1 half mv squared. And because it's rolling, it has 1 half i omega squared. Then what we need to do is take this i and place it in there and remember that we talked earlier about v equal omega r omega equals v over r and that needs to go in for omega at that point m's can get canceled out because there's an m that'll be in that piece and really then it's just doing some algebra and finding out what v equals